have any of you gotten one of these strike violations against your YouTube channel? It pops up right there on your dashboard and says you have violated some policy and you have the opportunity to go in and appeal it. And usually what you're asking is, what did I do wrong? Because I didn't curse. I didn't say anything vulgar. I didn't do anything subjective. It was actually a video from a course that I had in a private um, listed as a private video in my on my channel and it only was seen in the course and it had a link for an affiliate link for vidIQ I believe is what it was but for some reason the AI picked it up and said it was a violation so I've had this community strike probably for three or four years sitting here on my channel and I was so excited when I saw a little no, go across the top. It says, do you want to get rid of that? And I said, yes, it just because it bothers me. It's been sitting there. And so today I'm going to show you how to get rid of your strike. Now, the first thing you can do obviously is appeal it and they'll get back with you and let you know. If not, then the strike will sit there. And now what you're going to do today is go through these steps and the whole thing will be erased as long as you don't violate another thing in the policy and it'll be gone. All right, let's get started. Now, there's two different kinds of strikes. One is a community guideline strike, and the other one is a copyright strike. What I'm going to do is show you how to get rid of the community guideline strike. What you're going to do is hit that little warning sign that you saw at the bottom of the picture that was on the previous page. It just says warning, and you're going to click that, and this is what's going to pop up. Right here it says, your content was removed due to a violation of our community guidelines and you've received a warning. You can take a policy training which will remove the warning after 90 days. Well, that didn't used to be there, that is a new policy. If it happens again though, within the 90 days, the policy training, you'll get a strike. You won't be able to do things like upload posts or have a um, live stream for a week. So they kind of go progressively with your violations. So you don't really want a strike. And I'm glad they give you some chances because sometimes I think the AI just picks it up. So what we're going to do here is select take action right down here. If you select community guidelines up here at the top, what it does, it explains to you what those guidelines are, but you're not really taking a training course. And that's what I did when I went to appeal it. It was like, what, what happened? What was I doing that I shouldn't have been doing? And anyway, that's what you want to do first if you want to appeal it, or you can just come down here where it says take action. And what you're going to do is just take a course real quick. It's going to have some questions and then you can wait 90 days and the strike will be removed. This also will give you the details about what you violated. And for me, it was links in my content. For some reason, even though I talked about the link in the video for the course, somehow it got missed and that's fine, but that's what the violation was, something with a link. So you can read the policy and get the details and then go on to the next page where it says you can take action. Now it does say here that your warning will expire 90 days. So you could leave it there and it says it will expire. But like I said, mine was from, I've had the date earlier. It was from, oh, down here. It says it was denied on July 20th, 2021. So it's been there for two years and it has not disappeared and I have not gotten another violation. So again, it didn't hurt anything. Nobody can see it, but I was excited to be able to get rid of it if I can. And so right here, I'm going to take the training and then you want to go ahead and hit that button there. And I will have seven questions in 15 minutes and they want, they're going to share content in the training that is sufficient to what I violated. So it's going to be a uh, training that will obviously tell me what I did wrong and tell me how not to do it again. And just so you get an idea, um, the questions are look like this on a page. They're going to give you an example and then over here tell you the policy and then you have to decide is it appropriate or is it not? And then check it. If you get it wrong, you have to go back and get the right answer. So it's pretty much yes or no. Um, pretty simple. After you answer your seventh question, it's going to ask you to go to the next page. And there you go. It's finished. Now what happens is this should come off within 90 days after they make sure that I haven't violated anything else. If you do have other community strikes in different areas, then they will give you more training and be more specific about um, what you've done. I think it's a good idea because like I said, I did not know for sure what my mishap was. And to be honest, this didn't have anything to do with video links. It was more about um, just general things um, as far as what people might put on their video and you're to decide whether it's a violation or not. And it was informative. Um, so it was good. I did learn something, but the weird thing is it had nothing to do with 
links. So again, I still don't know, but it's okay. I hope you learned something. What I want you to know is that you can get rid of those strikes and they do not have to sit there forever and you can clean up your act.